Hello, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. This week, we are going to take Bruce Lee out of the package. Uh, this one is particularly exciting to me because when the Mego Ambassadors group started, my one and only suggestion to Mego for a new line would be Bruce Lee. Because Not because I, it's my favorite thing in the entire world, but because it was the one thing I thought actually other people would like. You know, I, I like a lot of niche stuff. And it's a license I thought Miko could get. Well, turns out they there was some parallel thinking going because they must have already had the Bruce Lee license when I made that suggestion. And I'm better for it. I am, a, like a lot of kids my age, I was a huge fan of Bruce Lee. Started around the fifth grade until now. So this is an exciting figure. There, there has been lots of action figures of Bruce Lee prior. However, they never were in Mego scale, and that was the one I was holding out for. So this is an exciting time to be a Mego head who likes kung fu movies. Right off the bat, let's mention the new card art. looks actually spectacular. And I'm loving the fact that Mego is posing these characters in action poses in the uh, bubble. I mentioned earlier this kind of reminds me of the Japanese Planet of the Apes action figures. And it's kind of that little extra mile to make the figures a little more interesting and dynamic on the shelf. So kudos to Mego for that. So without any further ado, let's rip Bruce right off the card and see what he's made of. Well, it turns out Bruce Lee is made of plastic. I should have known that. One of the things I want to point out here is this is clearly based on Bruce's probably best movie, Enter the Dragon, and, you know, without actually saying Enter the Dragon, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, he's got, uh, you know, the, the trademark scars from Dr. Hand's Claw, and he is, of course, carrying nunchucks. Uh, I'm really pleased with the simplicity of this guy. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite releases Mego has done thus far. And I'm kind of hoping that they do a lot more with Bruce Lee. I would love to actually see more martial artists. You know, I'm a big fan of Jim Kelly and Sonny Chiba. But if this is as far as we get it, it's okay. I know that Mego is also planning a 14-inch Bruce Lee as shown at Toy Fair. So at least they have a little, um, you know, expansion plans for the line, which is exciting. What do you think of Bruce Lee? Are you interested in martial arts action figures? Let me know uh, via our Twitter, at Mego Museum. We have a Mego Museum forum, of course. And you can hit us up on the Facebook page. We have a group called Mego Mania, and we'd love to chat and talk about Mego all day. Thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, buy what you like.